Chris and Jim. We're currently in the Okanagan in BC, Canada, and we are going to head down to a bunch of wineries in wine country. Come along with us. Wineries are our favorite thing in the world to do, so we're going to have a good day. drive all the way from Vernon where we started down to Penticton. We're gonna grab something to eat really quick and uh, continue on down through Coston where the wineries are. But uh, spectacular drive. We're a little bummed that it's overcast today and the sun's not really shining but it's still a great day and get something to eat real quick. burning for probably about a month down in this area um, we weren't sure how much is gone but you'll see on the side of the road some of the burnt out trees and we still see smoke up in the background down there so hopefully the roads are all open uh, it appears to be because there's lots of cars going this way but yeah see some of the smoke a little smoke here and dog we can definitely smell it right now Amazing that no structures have been lost that we could see right next to the highway because there's a lot of homes and a lot of trailer parks and the fire is right behind them or was right behind them so pretty incredible not to see the whole community being burnt right down. This was obviously evacuation order that happened because the fire was so close but man there is like Houses still standing, trailers still standing. Not much burn, but 20 feet back in the woods or 100 yards back, it's uh, full on burnt. So, pretty lucky. <laughs> Go to the winery, Daisy. So, according to this, Course Let's was named top 10 small wineries in the 2018, 2019, and 2021 National Wine Awards of Canada. So, as well as the top 10 overall in Canada, and top 10 in BC wineries in 2019. Fantastic wines. 
Winery number one was successful. Of course, Let's was awesome. And uh, we ended up picking up a Merlot and a Rosé. The Rosé won top 10 in Canada award, something like that this year. And uh, yeah, and the Merlot is nice, deep, deep cherry flavor. And it was awesome. That's what Chris liked. So that's what Chris got. Meh. Oh, she was very friendly. Super friendly. Close to Soleil was great. Highly recommend you come here. We were served by the assistant winemaker, which was awesome because she told us all about each wine and when, what went into it. And uh, yeah, great experience. Highly recommend you come. What a beautiful property. This is uh, just an amazing day. The sun came out today. So um, the Similkameen Valley is just incredible. It's so beautiful. It's kind of nice it was cooler when we were um, driving so that at least it was uh, not so hot. And then when we arrive, the sun's coming out and it's just a beautiful day. Walking away with our beautiful Syrah. Get back in the convertible. Let's go. Let's go. We just arrived at Crozes Pass. It's this cute little guest house with a winery attached to it. They have a really funky little restaurant and it's kind of in the middle of all the orchards and vineyards all around us in the Similkameen Valley. Um, about 12 wineries in the region and we're just about to check in. Super excited about our stay and what a cute little find so far. We'll see you later. So winery day number one was awesome. We loved it. Our Airbnb is awesome. We're going to show that to you tomorrow. And what do you think? I think it's a hidden gem. Good morning. We're still sitting at the uh, Crow's Nest Winery in the beautiful Similkameen Valley. Um, wow, what an amazing little find in this little region. It's uh, quite quaint. I think there's only about six or eight rooms in, in this little farmhouse and behind it is uh, the, the actual grapes that they do the wines. There's a wine tasting. There's also an amazing bakery that has uh, sourdough breads of probably 10 different Ten different Miles, times, ten times. Sourdough, yeah. So we also, with this room, um, breakfast was included. Uh, it's a European style breakfast with amazing breads and eggs and uh, delis and fruit and coffee and juice. And I think in total for a Saturday night in the dead of summer in the Okanagan, which is peak season here, the room was only $132 a night. And quite, it was a steal. It was a steal. Anything else that's closer to the Osoyoos Oliver area, which is also another beautiful wine region, you're looking about $400 plus a night for just a basic hotel room. But uh, couldn't be happier. We had live music and a beautiful, beautiful. dinner last night. Um, dinner was super reasonable. I they think. have a stone oven pizza, so that was really nice. Really nice, and some a chef that's here. Uh, I think one of their specialties is their schnitzel. So schnitzel, oh, the schnitzel with was spatzel in the true European style and uh, the hosts and um, team that works here I mean lovely all around very personable the dogs were able to come uh, our dog was a little pug that's able to run loosely and there was probably a, at least six other dogs here last night yeah very dog friendly very so. dog friendly um, I'd highly recommend this as a little stop if you ever had the chance to come to this beautiful valley I think there's about what 12 Vineyards. I think there's seven, up to 17 now. 17, 17 vineyards in the area that we are. Um, a couple cideries, I believe, and the, we're gonna. The, the sun's out. You couldn't ask for a, a better scenery. All the leaves are on the grapevines, and they'll be ready to be picked in the next uh, 
month, I think. Yeah, I think we're about, what, around the 20th or so of August in the Okanagan. Um, well, today we're going to go and carry on uh, the wine route, hopefully run into some more beautiful little finds and uh, take some wines back home to the North Okanagan with us. Awesome. All right. stopped at winery number one for today and it's Vanessa Vineyards. Uh, absolutely gorgeous views and chocolate. <laughs> Vanessa Wines was a success. Probably our favorite reds that we've tasted so far down in this milk mean. So if you get a chance to come to Vanessa um, fantastic winery, it's just beautiful, the property is beautiful, the scenery is outstanding and uh, yeah, come check out Vanessa, highly recommend. If you like big bold reds, I mean, look at the scenery, it's just fantastic, it's just, can't say enough about this area right now and uh, you know, being in the latter half of August, the sun is just beautiful. It's going to be about 30 degrees Celsius today and uh, just a great day for a drive. Just wanted to explain how wine tasting works for a lot of people that have never been. Um, when you're booking your wine tours or you're going to a wine tour or a winery, you should plan on spending about 45 minutes per winery. And that's how long it takes to get through the tastings. Typically they'll have, um, you know, five or six or more wines available to taste and you'll get a small taste and then um, some of the wineries waive the tasting fees which is typically about ten dollars in this region per tasting fee and if you purchase a bottle then uh, they'll waive that fee. How good is that peach? Well, I think that wraps up our Similkameen Valley wine tour. We uh, hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys take some time to come through this valley and really check out the area. The views, the, the drive, the wines, amazing. So undiscovered and I think the nicest part of this region is we walk into every place you don't need a reservation at least right now and they're very personable and welcoming and kind of like wine tasting used to be years ago where it was kind of a quaint experience that's exactly what the Samilkameen Valley will bring for you if you just want a slow paced beautiful scenic lots of orchards and cideries and wineries and beautiful little spots. Absolutely. If, if you liked our video, please subscribe. Please hit that bell as well so you're notified when we launch a new video. And uh, we hope to see you on the next one because uh, it's a learning curve for us, but we'll keep, we'll keep trying. And worst case scenario, this is a great video for our future grandkids. So. It's our first video, so hopefully somebody liked it and learned a little bit of something. If you can give us any advice or um, give us any tips along the way, we would love to hear from you. Absolutely. And uh, look forward to seeing you on the next video. Cheers. Cheers.